This cat's name is Nori. We just got Nori last week. She was found outside uh, limping. And after she saw the vet, they determined that it was an old healed fracture in her right front arm. Um, she does walk fine on it. Uh, doesn't seem to cause her any pain. So we're just monitoring her for now. She's still pretty scared, hiding, um, but she does love being pet. If you sit with her when it's quiet with a squeeze up and just give her some love. She's really, really nice. A lot of cats that aren't necessarily used to being inside, when we get them, they are a little slower to warm up and become comfortable in the cafe environment, but she's doing really well. We've only had her a couple of days uh, when this video was made and she's doing really great. She does really, really well with the other cats. We always find her cuddling with someone. It's really cute. This baby's name is Clove. She's a little girl. She's about six months old. She's new to the cafe as well. She was also found outside with a few other family members. And she was much too friendly to be released back outside. She's doing really great accepting love from us and our visitors. Um, she's always relaxing in her bed. She's eating well. Um, we think we're going to find her a great home. Just need her to open up a little bit more, and we are here for it. Next, we have Lionel. He's about three years old. He was unfortunately dumped in a feral colony, and the person who takes care of those cats noticed that he was new and way too friendly to fit in with the other cats. So she got him all fixed up, got him neutered, got his shots, and brought him to the rescue that we work with. He's doing really great now. The first few days he was super hissy and angry, um, but he is absolutely amazing now. He gets along great with the other cats. He's like a big teddy bear. Uh, a lot of times when we come in in the morning, he stands on something, gives us a big hug. He was definitely someone's cat at one point. He's way too friendly to have been a stray. This is J-Lo. She won't talk without treats. This is Moo. Moo is a five-year-old lady with the most beautiful green eyes. She's really, really sweet. She loves the humans. She's pretty great with the other cats, too. She is very treat-motivated. She will sit by the treat machine all day. She's a really nice cat. We've had her for about two weeks. We think she'd be great in any home preferably a quieter home. I think she would feel a lot less nervous and in a nice peaceful home. She's not really a fan of the chaotic days over here. Unlike Thomas. Thomas is about two years old. He's like a crazy teenager, full of energy, loves to play. Um, he does rough house with Zeke a lot. They're like best friends lately. Thomas would be the cat that you get if you want to have a friend for your cat. I haven't seen him be super snuggly with humans at all. Um, he does accept pets and he does like to be loved on, but um, not super cuddly while he's here. But that's also something that changes once they get to their home and they're comfortable and they have someone that they can trust. They end up usually getting a lot more cuddly. Um, but Thomas would definitely be great with another cat who wants to play and has a lot of energy. He would definitely do best with another cat who is on the tough side and can handle playing rough and maybe not one that he can dominate. This is 12 year old Midget Bear. He came to us about two weeks ago. His owner developed a very strong allergy to him and his sister Cleo. Um, after having them for their whole lives. So they are a little bit out of sorts right now, but they're really adjusting well. They're both the sweetest cats. Midget Bear is 12, Cleo is six, and they absolutely love each other. You can almost always find them both sitting next to each other on the same cat tree. Um, they seem pretty happy. We are happy to have them. We want to find them a really good home, but they absolutely have to go home together. We never, ever break up bonded pairs. This is Zeke. He's a wild child, just like Thomas. He's about a year and a half or two years old. He was also found outside, but likely a dump into a feral colony because he is very friendly. Um, he has just as much energy as Thomas. They're always playing together. 
we hope that they can go home together. They're a really good match in terms of energy and the way that they play. Uh, they're basically the same cat, we always say. Um, Zeke likes to get into a little bit of mischief on the sink, knocking down all the dishes. He's definitely a funny cat who would be a good cat friend for another cat who loves to play. Um, he really doesn't have any issues with any of the other cats here. He's a nice boy. These are our back room cats. We have our back room, which is the litter box room, and some supplies. Uh, we have a little corner for the cats that are scared. Some of them end up back here just trying to decompress and get used to everything. Uh, we set up a little area for them with a cat tree and some food and everything. And we do send people in to give them love. This one is Tom right here, the gray boy. Next to him is Sammy. He's a big boy too. And Bosco is our little tuxedo. They all seem to hang out together and kind of learn the ropes together. We see that they come out of hiding as soon as we leave the cafe at night. So they get around. They just want to be in their own little space during the day. And we totally respect that. We like being able to have a separate area for them to decompress and come out when they feel that they're ready. We don't want anyone to feel forced to be out in the main room with all the people and the other cats. A lot of times cats get adopted from the back room because we do know their personalities and People do come back here and sit with them, and um, it just takes a little bit of patience and a little bit of time to get to know each one of them and realize what kinds of needs they have. Usually the nicest cats are back here, which is pretty interesting. Some people only focus on the most friendly cats in the cafe, but it takes a special person to come back here and sit and have a little bit of patience and learn each cat. This is Cece. We've had her for months and we are just now able to pet her when she's ready. She was found with her two sisters who both got adopted semi-recently and she's just taken a little longer. This is Ziggy, our little FIP warrior. He just finished his FIP treatment. He is a million times better. He's in observation now. He's not really a huge fan of me because I was the one giving him his injections and it was pretty rough for him, but he is so happy. He's so cuddly with everybody. He's really doing amazing. We are so, so proud of him for getting through and being such a champ. And we can't wait to see him get his forever home. Avery and Harper are a new pair of kittens that we just got. They are a little bit scared. Avery, this one right here, is definitely the more scared of the two sisters. Harper was out and about playing and really, really friendly, but since they are a pair, we decided to put them together. Maybe Harper can help Avery come out of her shell a little bit more. Harper is not happy about this, but we think within a couple of days, they should be ready to come out and play. They've been together since birth and have been fostered together where they were super bonded. So we really hope to get them a home together. They would do best as a pair in a home together. It seems that Avery needs Harper more than Harper needs Avery. But together they are a bonded pair.